Hi everyone! In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can design your own magazine cover with Canva. Let's say that you haven't got a clue on what kind of magazine cover you would like to make. You can try and find some inspiration by taking a look on Canva available templates. And you can do that by simply typing in magazine on Canva search bar and then click enter and here is the overall result that you're going to see if you try to search for a magazine in Canva. As you can see, there is a lot of magazine templates that you can take a look at, whether it's the magazine's cover or the magazine's content. So if you're in need of some inspiration, feel free to take a look on the available template that Canva have, and you can also customize it and turn it into your own magazine. Now, for this tutorial, I'm going to use a well-known magazine's cover as our guidance. So the magazines that I'm going to use is the Time magazines. I'm sure some of you have heard of it. So the first thing, that I'm going to show you is how the Time Magazine's cover looks like. It looks like this. It has the signature red frame and the time wordings on each and every cover on it. So we're going to try and recreate the Time Magazine's cover. The next thing we're going to do is to find out what are the measurement or the size of the Time Magazine. And you can see that the size of time magazines is 8 by 10 3 4 inches so we're going to go ahead and go back to our canva click create a design and then click on custom design don't forget to change the measurement from pixels to inches and then we're going to enter the exact same measurement like the one that we've seen before so it's going to be 8 by 10.75 inches all right and this is the canvas that we're going to work with for today. As you can see, once we're in the editing sections, we can still see a lot of templates if you still need it. But we're just going to go straight into editing. And for now, I'm going to upload the magazine cover that we're going to remake, which is the Time magazine. And I am going to remake the one with Benedict Cumberbatch in it. Once the picture is uploaded, I am just going to fit it into the blank canvas. And as you can see, it fits perfectly because we use the measurement that we tried to search before. And let's take a look at what the Time Magazine have. As you can see, it has some wording. It has some tiny text inside of the red frame. And it also obviously have the person for the cover. One thing that we notice about Time Magazine is that the artist that they put as the cover will always be on top of the time wording. And I'm going to show you how you can do that. So first, you're going to want to try to find the pictures that is similar to the one that you want to recreate. Obviously, you can use any pictures at all if you want to create your own magazine, but because we're going to try and recreate the Time magazine with Benedict Cumberbatch on it, I tried to find the pictures that looks the most similar, and I found this pictures right here, which I think was taken the same day with the magazine's cover photograph, and I'm going to use this one. And just for the sake of the tutorial, I'm going to try and add the time wording. So to do that, you can go ahead and click on the text menu on the left side of your screen, and then you can type out time. And as for the font, I found that Bodoni is actually the most similar font. It's not the exact font that Time Magazine used, but I feel like it is quite similar. So I'm going to go ahead and type out Bodoni. I made a typo right here. I type out Bondoni instead and it doesn't show us anything. And I correct it to Bondoni and this is the one that we're going to use for the time title. And you can see right here that I am trying to adjust the size so that it's going to be as similar as the original one as possible. And to help me do that, I'm going to try and drag this text right here and then I'm going to bring it to the first page which is the original 
Time Magazine cover and then I'm going to size it by simply putting the text on top of the actual title. As you can see, it looks pretty similar. Again, not exactly the same, but it looks pretty similar. So this one is good enough for now. And then I'm just going to adjust it so that it's going to overlap evenly with the actual one. Once I'm done, I'm bringing the text back into my second page. And you know that in Canva, you can actually play around with the opacity because the actual Time Magazine wording doesn't have 100% opacity on it. So I'm going to bring the transparency down to around 40. And then, you know that we can play with layer in Canva, but because of these pictures right here, once we try to bring the text to the back, once we play with the layer and put the text layer into the back of the pictures. You can see that we don't get the same effect with the one that we wanted. Instead of bringing the text to the back of Benedict Cumberbatch head, it brings the text to the very back of the background and it ended up being gone instead. Now there is two things that you can do to create the same effect with the actual Time Magazine, which is to subscribe to Canva Pro and use their background remover. As you can see, Canva actually offers 30 days free trials that you can use because the background remover feature on Canva can only be used if you're on their paid account. So if you want to edit it directly from Canva, you can, but you have to subscribe to their paid account first. Or you can also use Photoshop because that is what I did for this tutorial. I photoshopped these pictures beforehand and I separated the main character in the pictures, which is Benedict Cumberbatch and the background. So here I am going to upload the separated pictures. As you can see, now I got the background file and I also have the person file. So now I'm just going to go ahead and add up the background file and then I'm going to adjust it so that it's going to fit perfectly into my canvas. Once I'm done adding the background, now I can finally add Benedict Cumberbatch into our canvas and then I'm just going to try and adjust it as similar with the original but because this picture is a close-up versions of the pictures. I don't think I will get the exact same measurement, but here I am trying as fast as I can. All right, the next thing I'm going to do is that I'm going to bring this text layer to behind Benedict Cumberbatch. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the triple dot, click layer, and then bring it back. And as you can see now, the result is more similar to the actual one instead of with the first method that we tried, if we don't separate these two first, which is the main subject of the pictures with the background, we will not get the exact same effect like what we wanted. Now that we're done with the main object of our magazine cover, now I'm going to try and add the iconic red frame. So in Canva, you can actually try to find some elements such as frame elements and then let's say that you found the frame elements in the color of white you have the options to change the colors for some elements not all of them can do that but some of the elements allows you to change the color of that element so that was what i tried the first time i was trying to find the frame element and then I try to change the color as well as adjusting the shape, but some element does not allow you to customize the shapes too much. For example, you can only enlarge it or make it smaller at certain scale. You can't really adjust every side of the frame like this one right here. You can see that I try to position it as best as I can. And then when I try to enlarge it, somehow, it won't, it just won't fit. So this is an option that you can do, but I don't really recommend this. I recommend you to use the second method instead. The second method that I recommend you to use when you're trying to create the red frame is by simply creating your own frame. 
and you can do that by simply going to the element sections type out line on the search bar and then you will find a selection of lines that you can use for your frame and i'm going to choose this one over here it does have some ending on it but it doesn't matter i can just drag it outside of my frame and as you can see you can play around with the line weight i can see that the original red frame is pretty thick so i'm going to make my line a little bit thicker than how it originally is and then i'm going to stretch it out so that it creates one fine line once i'm satisfied with the length as well as the thickness of the line i'm going to bring it on the top and then I'm going to change the colors so that it's going to match the exact red, like the original red frame. And then after we've done adjusting that one, we're going to duplicate it. And then we're going to place it on the very bottom of our page. And we're going to repeat the same process for the side page. And that is how you can create your own manual frame. As you can see on the element section, there are selections of lines that you can use. I don't know why I didn't use this plain line instead, but either way, it works just fine because at the very end, we can still adjust the length as well as the thickness of the line. So it doesn't really matter which one I'm using as long as it is a straight line and not the one that has gap in between the lines. The next thing that I do for the magazine cover is that I created a very thin frame, very thin white frame because I can see that the original one have it and I'm just using the exact same method with the one that I've told earlier. And the last touch for our magazine cover is just some wording details so I'm going to go ahead and edit off screen. And here is the result after I ended up adding some wordings off screen. And once you are done with the design, you can go ahead and click on the share button on the top right of your screen. Scroll all the way down and then you will find a download button. You can also choose the file type before you download it. And that's it. That's how you can create your own magazine cover on Canva. I hope this tutorial is helpful for you. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.